guys. Hey, Benny. Happy Star Wars Day. <laughs> OK. Can I make you breakfast? Admiral Agba's snack bar is open for business. No, thanks. Leonard and I are just going to the funeral. You sure? Not even coffee? We have R2 decaf. <laughs> Maybe a nice cafe au lait. Uh... And if you're not in the mood for coffee, I can always make you a chai T3PO. <laughs> oh, I get it. Like C3PO. What happened to me? <laughs> hey, uh, Sheldon, you want anything? Uh, no, thank you. You're being so quiet. Are you upset or are you just rebooting? All started with a big bang. Hey! I'm fine. Sweetie, are you sure you don't want to come with us to the funeral? Oh, I appreciate the offer, but Arthur is gone and there's nothing I can do about it. When Darth Vader struck down Obi-Wan, did Luke cry like a baby and go to his funeral? No, he blew up the Death Star. Why do I know this? <laughs> Arthur Jeffries was a scientist. I'm sure he didn't care about silly superstitions like funerals. If, if he were here, I think he'd say, enjoy Star Wars Day. He was 84, he'd say, where's my pudding? <laughs> Before you go, at least let me pack you some attack of the scones for the road. Oh, uh, like attack of the clones. We are leaving right now. Okay, here we go. Episode one, The Phantom Menace. Ugh, let's get this over with. Since we all agree episode one isn't our favorite, maybe we just skip it this time. Yeah, Howard, I think you of all people should avoid espousing the principle that if something is not our favorite, we should just get rid of it. <laughs> you know, I, I heard this way of watching the movies called The Machete Order, where you watch episodes four and five, then skip episode one, watch two and three as a flashback, and then finish with six. Okay, so you'd lose most of Jar Jar, all the trade route talk, and the boring Senate hearings, which are like watching C-SPAN with monsters. <laughs> get rid of the trade route part? Then how would Palpatine get Chancellor Valorum kicked out of office? Yeah. How would he get himself elected? How? Can we get through one holiday without you saying something ridiculous? <laughs> It was just a suggestion. Well, you know what else was just a suggestion? Why don't we change the Raisin Bran box? Hmm? <laughs> and you know who got hurt by that? Every single person who eats breakfast. Wow. I think he's taking this Professor Proton thing pretty hard. Should we try to console him? Or should we respect his privacy in this moment of grief? by staying here and watching the movie. That's what good friends would do. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey!